It's all this Chinese version of Saturday Night Fever, you know? Except the song, the beginning song went, you know, you can tell by the way I use my wok. I'm a Chinese cook. I'm a Chinese cook. <laughs> Last week, my nephew Steve and I decided to get a cab license so we can be our own boss. My friend Chan Hong helped set up the deal. We haven't seen him for two days. A woman showed up looking for Chan Hong. It was about a car accident he was in. We've decided to go look for him after work. I guess uh, you don't know where Mr. Chan is. I haven't seen him for the past week, but I got to find him. You looking for Mr. Chan? We're not into no trouble with him. We just want to know where he is, you know? This guy disappeared without a trace, without a reason, nothing. Why are you tripping so heavy on this one dude for, man? Because he's a friend. Every time we go to somebody different, we hear a different story. Joe, stop asking questions about Chan Hong. Who is this? Now, that's what we call in a detective trade a good clue. My husband changed after he came over. Chan Hong once told me that he wouldn't go back to China until he had achieved something in America. They don't want to recognize him. Forget you, man. You don't understand. Everything is so contradictory. What's not there seems to have just as much meaning as what is there. 